What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I wanted to do something different today. I thought, let's take away the green screen. I've turned off my little fancy light that I've got just to mix things up a little bit. See if you guys prefer this. Let me know in the comments below. And today we are going to review one of the new champions in the game, a new mythical champion in Night Raves, and that is Corixia. So first of all, I just want to say that I'm not happy about this. I can't believe they're already introducing a new mythical champion. I mean, they are so hard to get already. Um, I think there's five, so that must mean there's six now. So six mythical champions, or actually maybe seven, if you include the one that you can fuse. But there's already like seven mythical champions, and they're so hard to get. Um, I'm, I don't know. I just feel like they shouldn't be releasing them this quickly. Um, it's like, you know, for me, it's free to play. I don't think I'm going to see a mythical champion in my lifetime. But if you're a big spender, that may be different. But um, yeah, so I've, this will be my, my live reaction to champion, see what she's all about. So she's got a resistant aura by 80%. Very nice aura, really useful for arena and PvE content as well where you need it. So her passive, she's immune to stun debuffs and increases the champion accuracy by one for every two resistance they have. So a little bit like Mithrala's um, passive. And that, I mean, being immune to stun is huge. And there's um, like even like Clan Boss. Clan Boss throws out a stun, so you could use her as a, a stun target. But I mean, if you've got this champion, you probably have better options anyway, so you won't need a stun target. Um, but yeah, the increase in accuracy for every resistance. So this means that you can build a really high resistant and she will still have loads of accuracy as well. So her A3... Attacks all enemies, removes all buffs from all enemies. Also increases the cooldowns of all enemy skills by three turns. This is huge. This is a bit like Yumiko. Um, I would say this is stronger than Yumiko because you're stripping, you know, you can strip that stone skin. But where the weakness is, is that um, obviously if you've got um, like Polymorph, it means she's going to get sheeped. I presume she would get sheeped because she's stripping buffs. So no, no, no. We're not doing any debuffs, so that's fine. So yeah, I would actually say... No, sorry, I messed up there. I would definitely say this is stronger than Numico. Definitely, because we're stripping and we're putting their skills on the cooldown. And if they haven't got stone skin, they're not protected and we can just mow people down. Also, this is interesting. So she's a support champion. Her damage is based off attack. Don't bother putting any attack on her. It's not, it's not going to be a good build. But she has ignore resistance by 20% as well. Um, that's huge so she needs even less accuracy um i think there's gonna be two ways to build this champion just already looking at her kit um probably like really fast um like righteous set i think would be god tier on her and that was if i had it that's the way i would go i mean stone skin would still be good on her as well but you still want her to be pretty fast so she can sort of cut in put the enemy's skills on cooldown and also strip them as well but yeah that that a3 is like one of the best abilities in the game for sure. Um, so A2 places decreased resistance debuff, block buff debuffs on enemies for two turns. Also decreases, oh, sorry, so she's going to push back people's turn meter by 20%. Again, with the ignore resistance. So block buffs, obviously such, such a strong buff. And it does count on a lot of champions like Liores, like one of my favorite champions. Um, Skull Crown, it's going to stop them putting that unkillable buff on them. And it's also just like other champions as well. Um, and like ally protection as well. That can be really annoying in arena. So that's huge. Obviously great for Hydra as well. And actually decreased resistance would be massive in Hydra. It means that your champions need less accuracy to land debuffs, to do damage. Um, so yeah, really, really huge. But I guess the other thing would be that for arena, I would say, you know, it's not going to be game changing putting out decreased resistance. But there's certain champions like Nukas that do like land debuffs and stuff, you know, um, like Rotos, he pros out like a um, decreased defense, so it'd be easier to land that. But yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's going to be a game changing. The decreased resistance is not going to be game changing. Uh, A1 attacks one of me two times. Each has a 50% chance of increasing the duration of uh, debuffs on the target by one turn. That's nothing too special in my opinion. It's pretty, you know, it's just like run of the mill. However, again, she's got that ig uh, ignore resistance as well. So she's got that on all of her kit. 
And just to look at it as well, um, I'm not too keen on this look. I think it just looks weird to me. Like she's just got some floating hair, some hands on her face. Um, yeah, it's not it's not for me. So let's let's transform her. And <laughs> she looks even worse. Um I don't know what they think. They've literally just thrown everything on this champion. Like she's got a chandelier on her head. What's that about? And they're obsessed with wings. Like I think wings look cool on champions, but it seems that just like all the new champions, they just throw wings on like any champion that's going to be God tier. They're just going to chuck wings on them. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, she, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not too keen on the skin. It's not for me. So passive. Okay. So she, now she's immune to sleep debuff. Um, increases the champion speed by one for every 10 resistance they have. That's interesting. Um, so basically you can make her really, really fast. Um, the aura stays the same though. Okay. So A3 is <laughs> on a five turn cooldown. Removes all debuffs from allies and then increases the cooldown of all allies skills. No, sorry. Decreases um, cooldowns on all champions except this champion for three turns. Okay, so she's basically like resetting our skills so we can go again. Um, I don't think this is as strong as the other ability. I definitely prefer the other one. Just like seems a lot stronger to me. Attacks to enemies places a block debuff and 50% increased resistance buff on all allies for two turns. Then fills all turn meters by 20%. Ooh, um, that is kind of nice. Like if you've got like a slow, tanky, go second team... Being able to increase resistance, and if everyone's in stone skin as well, it means that no one's going to be able to pill you. Um, so it's kind of nice, and there is PvE content where you do need to increase resistance, like Bommel and stuff like that. Um, but I'm still thinking I prefer the first form, and the A1 decreases the duration of all debuffs on a random... No, yeah. Okay, so... In this build, she's like more of a cleanser and she's faster. In this one, she's more of an aggressive build and she's a stripper. Personally, I feel like this is a much stronger um, form than the other, but I would probably open in this one and depending on what happens in the fight, I would switch over to the other form and then I would cleanse my team. And also I've got the option to cleanse my team. Then I've got the option to reduce cooldowns and stuff. I am. I don't have a legendary champion, so I'm no legendary, a mythical champion. So I'm not sure how the AI would work on this. I'm quite interested in that because um, for PVE, it might be really hard to set her up. Like you know, you're gonna have to be like programming in, um, you know, metamorph, and then you're gonna be like do the A3, and then I want them to switch back to the other form, and then I want them to do this. So I don't think it really works in that respect. Um, but yeah, if anyone does have a mythical, let me know in the comments below. I would like to know how it works. But yeah, I think this champion is going to be like S tier, especially for Arena. Um, just like this ability by itself is just on another level. Like it seriously, seriously is. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think about these new champion. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.